a blessed day and welcome. This morning we will be meditating on the book of Luke, chapter 1 and verse 41. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. This morning we read that as Mary's greeting reached Elizabeth, the child within her womb began to leap. It was the Holy Spirit within Mary that stirred up the womb of Elizabeth. Beloved ones, the call to every Christian is to live a powerful life. But the key to such a life is living in the Spirit. Jesus emptied himself of his divine prerogatives and functioned in dependence on prayer to the Father and the power from His Spirit. That is the only pattern for a victorious Christian life. In reality, humans love to be in control and this is the biggest problem we face. Too many Christians today are trying hard to live the Christian life with their own natural power, not realizing that they have access to the supernatural power of the indwelling spirit. Activating that power depends first on being continually filled and controlled by the spirit. The more one remains in the presence, the more he lets go his own ambition, pride and desires, allowing the Lord to take over. Christians cannot walk in humility, unity, separation, light, love and wisdom apart from the energizing power of the Holy Spirit. To walk without the Spirit is to walk unwisely and foolishly. We can be imitators of God as beloved children only as we are filled with the Spirit daily through his power. A man bought a field next to a farmer who had been engaged in a long-standing dispute with the former owner about the exact boundary line between his field and the other's property. When the new owner saw the farmer near the fence one day, he greeted him with the words, I am your new neighbor. I would like to talk to you about the boundary between our properties. The farmer assumed a belligerent attitude and said, What about it? How much of this field do you claim as belongs to you? asked the new owner, who was also a Christian. I claim your fence is a good two feet over my property, replied the farmer. Well then, I want to reset the fence four feet back on my side, said the Christian. This completely took the fight out of the farmer, which was the beginning of a new spirit of conscience on his part also. Precious ones, our new birth in Christ came to being through the power of this wonderful Holy Spirit who resurrected Jesus from the dead. Every day as we glean in his presence, our images are changing into the likeness of our Creator. And the more we yield to him, the more we will live by his power. Let us pray. Jesus, Thank you for giving us the privilege to experience power through the sacrifice you did on the cross. Beloved Holy Spirit, may I yield to you daily as I live to please the Father alone. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Shalom. Maranatha.